Hey guys, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with some geometry of straight lines and without further ado I'm going to get straight into the question. Now they've asked us in the diagram below, AB is parallel to CD and they've already noted that for us. And they've also said to us, and BPT is equal to 118 degrees. Now they haven't, oh they have noted that as well, so BPT that's going to be that 118 over there. So now we need to complete the table by calculating the value of x and y. So we need to calculate the value of x and y. So let's have a look at this question. Now the first thing they've done for us is they've said to us co-interior angles and AB is parallel to CD. So they've given us this reason. Now, what are co-interior angles? When you see the word co-interior angles, you should immediately think that um, there is a U happening somewhere. So I'm going to draw a U using a different color. And they've said to us, the U has something to do with X. So let's see, if we look at X, the X is over here. So there is a U that involves the X if we draw it like this. Do you see the U? So what's interesting about this U is it's formed by those two parallel lines and then the line that cuts through those parallel lines, which is called a transversal. By the way, not too important. Now, what do we know about this rule? We know that, and I'm going to write it on the side here, we know that X plus 118, okay, should be equal to 180 degrees. And the reason for that is co-interior angles and AB is parallel to CD. So all we need to do is we need to subtract 118 from the left hand side and do the same thing on the other side. And that's going to leave us with, what would the answer be? 62 degrees. So X is going to be 62 degrees. And the reason for it is co-interior angles are equal. So I'm going to write 62 degrees in and I suggest every time you find an angle, write the angle in because it could help you with the next angle. Now they've asked us to find Y. Okay, so let's see where Y is. So we see Y is over here. And what's nice about Y is do you see there's this intersection of these two lines. And when that happens, we know that that angle is going to be equal to that angle. And what's the reason for that? Well, let's first say what Y is. We know that y is now 62 degrees, okay, so it's the same as x. And the reason for that is because vertically opposite angles are equal. And that's it. That will get you all three marks for this question. Very special thank you to our sponsors for making this video possible. Read up more about them in the description below. Remember to check out our website for more epic videos like this one. And if you can't find the answer to your question, remember, you can send the question to us and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, guys, stay epic.